Welcome back everyone to Lana's Little Things with me, Dr. Lana, specialist dermatologist talking all things on living agelessly, family caregiving, oh, entrepreneurship, just life itself, bridging generational gaps. And today is going to be a quick one, you know, I could talk about thankfulness all day long because it's been working, I found it works so much in people's life, it's been coming up in conversations. Thankfulness, thankfulness, being thankful. Well, really, is it? I've had some posts before, but this one is a little bit different. If I don't talk about thankfulness in the brain and what it actually does to our brain and science, not too much science, just a little science behind how it affects our brain and how it can heal us, not only from trauma, but from just negative feelings. Don't we all have those every single day, no matter what? whatever our age, whatever our stage in life, no matter what. So how can thankfulness just, and what exactly can we do to be more thankful? Hmm. Just a few, just a, literally a few things. So it stimulates the good hormones in our brain, which then goes all over our body. It actually helps our neurons to heal the brain's way of talking to each other, those cells actually connects them and helps them to heal emotionally with the nerve. Everything is brain. Everything is nerve. Just to think of it like that. Everything is chemicals. We're all a bunch of chemicals. We're all put together, but chemicals nonetheless. With good hormones in our brain, then enhance our mood, enhance our overall well-being. But only that, this reduces our stress. Reduces anxiety. It leads to better mental health. Therefore, if we have better mental health, we can deal with stressors and situations even better. And then, hey, when we deal with it better, we can behave and have healthier behaviors. So we take care of our health better. Which, again, is a nice cycle, which gives us more feel-good hormones, which actually stimulates our brain to do better, which enhances our relationships and families. And, and it can even, some studies suggest, can help us to live longer. Who can say no to that? So how thankful can we be? What can we do? Just say, wake up every morning before we even open our eyes and say, thank you. What else can we do? We can just find little things around the day to be thankful for and write them down. We can start by doing that in the morning. I am thankful because, and look at little things in the day we're thankful for, and at night, what am I thankful for? What happened today that was good? <sighs> you look for it, you find it. We will find the bad. It's there. It's like it just makes itself a bear. So we have the power. We have the power in our bodies, in our brain, in our cell, in our design to be thankful. So from my heart to yours, here's to those feel-good hormones, here's to better relationships, here's to the inner peace good morning good evening and good night on this day 149 we are getting there for another announcement stay tuned that's nana signing out from my heart to yours Mwah.